turn this stupid fat rat yellow. Are you sure that's a real spell? Well, it's not very good, is it? Harry, no way. You heard what Madame Hoop said. Besides, you don't even know how to fly. What an idiot. Now, if you two don't mind, I'm going to bed before either of you come up with another clever idea to get us killed. Or worse, expelled. Look, stop, stop, stop. You're going to take someone's eye out. Besides, you're saying it wrong. It's Leviosa, not Leviosa. That's totally barbaric. That's a wizard's chess. I see you've packed. See, you haven't. Here it is. Nicholas Flamel is the only known maker of the Sorcerer's Stone. The what? Honestly, don't you two read? Look at you, playing your cards. Pathetic. How could I be so stupid? I checked this out weeks ago for a bit of light reading. This is light. Petrificus Totalis. Oh. You see, Weasley, unlike some, my father can afford the best. At least no one on the Gryffindor team had to buy their way in. They got in on pure talent. Looks more like a pig with hair, if you ask me. That's rich coming from the owner of that smelly old shoe brush. It's all right, Crookshanks. You just ignore the mean little boy. First, you must look beyond. What a load of rubbish. Where did you come from? <laughs> me? Been here all this time. You have to be in two classes at once. Don't be silly, Ronald. How could anyone be in two classes at once? Broaden your minds. I think it's time we teach Weaselby how to respect his superiors. <laughs> I hope you don't mean yourself. How dare you talk to me? Unless, of course, you've been ripped to pieces. Ripped to pieces? What are you talking about? Ronald has lost his rat. I haven't lost anything. Your cat killed him. Rubbish. I think that means you owe someone an apology. Right. Next time I see Crookshanks, I'll let him know. I meant me. Ah, come to see the show. You, you foul, loathsome, them evil little cockroach. Hermione, no. He's not worth it. Oh, oh. 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 Malfoy, oh. you okay? Wake up. Wake up, Ronald. Bloody hell. Honestly, get dressed. And don't go back to sleep. Come on, Ron. So, a genius like Dumbledore couldn't possibly be fooled by a dog as pathetically dim-witted as an ageing potion. Uh, but that's why it's so brilliant. Because it's so pathetically dim-witted. <laughs> Hagrid's looking for you. Well, you can tell Ronald... I'm not an owl! Do you ever stop eating? Oh, I'm hungry. Will you stop eating? Your best friend is missing. It's one thing for a bloke to show up alone. For a girl, it's just sad. I won't be going alone because, believe it or not, someone's asked me. Where have you been? Never mind. Off to bed, both of you. They get scary when they get older. Ron, you spoiled everything! There'll be no need to talk. You need to think some more like it. One person couldn't feel all that. It'd explode. Just because you've got the emotional range of a teaspoon. I can't understand why you don't want to wear it, Ronald. Because I look like a bloody idiot, that's why. No more than usual, Ronald. Put me down! Now! It's got a bit of a thing for you, Hermione, Cormac. He's vile. Hey, she's only interested in you because she thinks you're the chosen one. But I am the chosen one. OK, sorry. Um, kidding. I suppose you want to break up with him now that he's suddenly all interesting. He's been poisoned, you daft dimbo. And for the record, I've always found him interesting. Harry, your eyesight really is awful. You. Complete. Ah, oh, Ronald Weasley. You show up here after weeks and you say, hey. He knows what we took and he knows we're hunting all crises. How is it you know? I saw him. You let him in. Harry, you can't do that. Hermione, I can't always help it. What should we do with it? We? Just 
saying. That's the elder one. 